hello everyone welcome you again this is Raju Mathu and today I am going to tell you about the scroll view API in titanium using alloy framework so what is scroll view first so if you are talking about the web application so scroll view is the div where we need to display so many data which can not be go beyond that div and we also need to view all the data within that div so how can we do that we are scrolling within that div and we can view the uh, view the contents of that div using scroll so here in titanium also titanium provides an api called scroll view which can be used to display data which can be scrollable within that scroll view so let's start with that so we need to as we need to display that scroll view on the screen so for the time being we are going through the index.xml view which is the landing page of the application so let's code it on index.xml so let's add an alloy tag which will contain all our UI elements now to view the window on a screen we need to define a window tag here then to add a scroll view titanium provides a scroll view tag here you can see that this is the my scroll view let's add a background color for that so that we can distinguish it from the background of the window so let's have a background color make it green so I'm going to make it a green then let's add height and width of this scroll view we can also define that these properties on its respected TSS file but for the sake of time I am going to display it here to reduce its complexity so let's make it 100% so that it can cover throughout the width of the screen let's make the height I'll make it 50% let's add the top position starting position for this scroll view I'm going to make it 25% so that it can come 25% from the top of the screen start it from the top 25% from the top of the screen then now to have data or to have UI element on the scroll view generally we must add a view under this scroll view the scroll view cannot contain any data directly to it so using view we will add our UI element to this scroll view so let's add a view tag now to make it distinguish from the rest of this scroll view let me add a background color for this so I'm going to make it red now let's define height and width so width might be to make it cover throughout the scroll view so I'm going to make it 100% now to have height for this view which is going to be added on the scroll view we must follow one thing like if the view or the viewable UI components that are going to be added to the scroll view as a which need to be scrolled if it is the height of that UI component is equal to the height of the scroll view so that will not act as in scroll the scroll view will not act as a scroll because it's fit to the scroll view height so to have the scroll view effect we must have the scroll view the UI element under this scroll view should have the height greater than the height of the scroll view so let's add it 800 pixel for that so definitely that must, must be the greater than from the height of this scroll view as you have mentioned here as a 50% height for the scroll view so let's run it let's 
check it on the simulator how it looks on iOS we can have both horizontal and vertical scroll view but if for the Android section we need to specifically mention the scroll type is it the vertical type or is it the horizontal type so here you can see that this is the my scroll view which is near about 50% of the screen and on the top 25% so it looks at the center of the page or the window so now it has the view which is red in color so now let me scroll this so here you can see that this is scrolling now you might not you may say that this is not uh, as it is greater than the size of the scroll view we should have a scroll bar he vertical scroll will need to be displayed here so that we can recognize that it is scrolling as it is uh, as these views does not have any content if it have contains like some text some other UI elements so you can really visualize these things so let me to visualize this scroll effect let me add the vertical scroll here so show vertical scroll indicator has the property which is associated with the scroll view to display the vertical sc scroll on the scroll view so let's run it it's loading so oh, one thing for android that i am going to tell you that for android we need to specifically mention the height and type of the scroll type so that it it might be the vertical or it may be the horizontal so but you need to specifically mention that scroll type so here you can see that the ver vertical scroll indicator was displaying while scrolling this view so here you can easily say that this goes up and down so this much for today so next i will going through some other properties of this scroll view which can be used to make it some other functionality like scroll view as a table view we can also add make it as a table view which can store more views or which can display more views under this scroll so up to this for today thanks